Speaking of complex negotiations, the draft could turn into that as we move on here. One of the most intriguing lottery talents in the NBA draft this year is Memphis center James Wiseman. The Timberwolves won the number one pick in this year's draft, and 16 days from now, they'll have to make a decision. Well, our Brian Windhorst told the Scoop podcast that he believes Wiseman has zero interest in joining the Wolves where all-star center Carl Anthony mm. Town, Towns currently resides. Perk? What is your reaction to hearing Wiseman doesn't want to play for the T-Wolves? He shouldn't. He shouldn't. Look, Wiseman is the best big in this year's draft. This kid got superstar written all over him. Minnesota drafting Wiseman is like me going to get a, a, a guard dog and telling them not to bark. It just can't happen. Wherever this kid goes, he needs to be let off the leash and need to be let free and go out there and do what he does best. And he wouldn't be able to do that playing under an all-star center like Carl Anthony Towns. I think they will bump heads because they're similar players. So he does need to go to a team where it's his team and he's the starting center. He's the big that's getting the touches. He's the go-through guy. So I, I'm with him. I, I like what him and his camp is doing. They're making the best decision and calling the right shot for this kid, Wiseman. I don't mind Wiseman expressing that opinion or making it known because, you know, sports is one of the only industries where you don't get to pick where, where, where you work. Your employer picks you out of, out of you know, no choice of your own. Uh, that said, I don't think Minnesota really cares. I mean, the fit issues are obvious. Everybody can see that Towns and Wiseman play essentially the same position. We all know that. But Minnesota is still sitting I think they'll explore and have already explored trading that pick for veterans, trading down, seeing what they can get. And it doesn't really matter if Wiseman doesn't want to go to them. If another team below Minnesota really, really, really wants Wiseman and Minnesota has the power to take him ahead of that team, they still have the same amount of leverage. So I don't really think it will affect their, their thought process on the draft. Zach, how do teams near the top of the draft feel overall about the top prospects, the Wisemans, the LaMelo Balls, the Anthony Edwards, et cetera? Well, you just hear the same thing over and over again, which is this is just one of those years where there's not a guy, there's not a surefire number one superstar, eight-time all-star, whatever you think, it, whatever you conceive of it as. And that's fine. That's one of those years. But I have had several people tell me, even if, even if that's true, all three of those guys are top five or top six picks in a normal draft. They're really good players. And so, yeah, I think there will be some jockeying. I think there will be some interest. Some teams covet ball. Some teams covet Wiseman. I think their teams are excited about these guys, even if there's no Zion or LeBron or AD. Perk, how do you feel about those young men? I don't know if you've seen any of them. I know Anthony Edwards specifically just had a, a, a workout, a pro day on ESPN2. Have you gotten a chance to see any of them? And do you believe any of them are going to be franchise-type players? Well, I know right now Anthony Edwards is a franchise guy. We're talking about a guy that has the athleticism of Russell Westbrook and a smaller offensive package in James Harden. This guy is an NBA bucket right now. And any team that pass on him as the number one pick, they are tripping. I'm telling you this right now. This kid is ready. He has superstar written all over him. I know I keep saying that. But he does. He has elite talent, great build, great athleticism. He's NBA ready. Somebody better draft this kid number one. I tell you that much. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.